All right. Good game for us, um, especially in the second half. I thought our guys were, um, I told them we were going to play against a really scrappy team. And so obviously you're going to look at their record and you're going to say, man, God, they're not very good. But you know what I did is I looked at the Seton Hall game where they were up at halftime and it was a battle all the way through. And then I'll tell you what really got my attention is when you, you watch the Florida and Texas Southern game and you think about how they played. And so, you know, in today's college basketball, if you're not mentally and physically ready to play any game, it looks like anybody can beat you on any given night. And so I, I'm, I'm glad to get away with a good win. I thought our guys responded in the second half. We did a much better job on French in the second half. He had 12 points at halftime and then only two in the second. And I thought some guys, um, you know, Tequavion's playing better as a freshman. You know, obviously I got to live with his mistakes until we get Casey back. Uh, I didn't think Darion or Cam played great, but just like Darion, you know, he still ends up with 16 and 14. So uh, what do I know as a coach? So questions? Do you potentially, do you want to schedule this type of game before going to Brooklyn this weekend and playing uh, one of the top teams in the country? You know, Jonas, I, I wish I could tell you how it would schedule. Some of these games were scheduled so far ahead. And so I wish I could say, hey, I chose to play with Bill Cookman before these guys. I don't know what order they came in. I may have had this game scheduled. I may have, you know, I don't know what it was. No, but are you glad you had this kind of scrappy battle to the wire game before you guys won the run? Well, I'm just glad we got a game and we won a game before. You know, obviously in this program, we talk about when you lose a game, we're sick. And so we wanted to get well and obviously losing to Louisville and then coming back and getting a win to get back on the right track. It felt like a game where you guys were trying to trying to find the three point shot. Twenty three attempts, only seven makes. But how important was that to see some shots fall before you play against a team like Purdue on Sunday? Yeah, it was good, Corey. You know the tough thing about this building. This is a great building, unbelievable place to play, but it's not really our home venue. And I know people are like, man, what a great place is on campus. So before we played today, we practiced in here twice because um, there's so much going on. So we have to adjust. Even though this is a great place to play, I love playing here. I think this is an outstanding venue. We don't practice a lot. So a lot of times, it's almost like playing a neutral court game. And so for us to get in and make some shots, and um, I thought we found our rhythm a little bit early. I would like to make some more, but I thought our guys did a good job, you know, taking good open threes and making some of them. Has um, Ernest moved ahead of uh, Jalen? He was today. And I think that's gonna be a revolving door. Um, you know, when I went into this with Manny, went out, I thought it could be one game Jalen starts, one game EB starts, and Ernest come along slow. Well, EB's kind of moved a little bit further than everybody else, and now I, I think to get the other minutes, it'll, it'll come down to Ernest or Jalen. When, you, when you're not in that rhythm earlier, what, what do you stress more time about? Fast break points or good plays on defense? Just, I, I, well, when we're not in a rhythm, I want us to defend. You know, we, we talk about all the time, if you're going to win a championship, you got to win all type of games. you got to win the ugly games. you got to win the games when you're up 20, down 20, when things are not going well. Don't let the game get away from you because you're not scoring. And speaking of defense, we won't jump off the, uh, the stat sheet, but Breon Bassett defense on the perimeter. How, how, how did you kind of break that today? It's getting better. You know, where we're we, where we at, Jonas, it's so tough because I don't know that there's another ACC team or another team in the country outside of maybe Duke and Kentucky that you want to try to get three freshmen into a rotation. And right now, because of Casey being out and Thomas not playing great right now, we're playing three freshmen and trying to get to Quavion and try to get Breon minutes and then find a way to get Ernest Roth. But Breon brings a lot to our program. He brings a lot to our team. Uh, he's probably one of our better on the ball defenders and we got to figure out how to get him some more minutes to play. That it? All right. Great. Thanks, guys.